Hello, Ryan here, aka Mac, and welcome. In this video, I want to go through all of the ships and vehicles found on the roadmap viewer that are scheduled to release in 2021. These videos are made possible thanks to my very generous patrons and channel members. Thank you guys so much for all the support. If you do want to support the channel further, all of the links are in the description below. It is very much appreciated. So 2021's roadmap is looking pretty bright regarding the ships and vehicles set to release. But at the same time, it's looking pretty light as well. So today, I'm going to go through all of the ships currently on the roadmap viewer for 2021, which have their respected dates, plus discuss some potential others that we may see released this year. So let's kick it off with the Tumbrel Nova Tank, affectionately nicknamed the Tonk, as a homage to the now departed French developer Corentin Belmont. And in his memory, it forever lives on as a Tonk, as he had to leave CIG due to Brexit. Now this is currently making its way through Whitebox as they flesh out the interior and it's going to be a pretty awesome day getting this tank in game and interesting to see just how this vehicle becomes useful as the game continues to develop. Now the Nova Tonk currently has a size 4 ballistic cannon, a size 2 turret and up to a size 3 missile launcher. This is of course subject to change but once more assets get planet side like homesteads, bases, pirate bases the Tonk will definitely come into its own, alongside the Ballista as well. Now the Nova Tonk is set to release with the first patch of the year, which is Alpha 313, so around the end of March. And the moment that I get my hands on it, I will head out and give it a try. So if you do own a Tonk, you're going to need something to fly it around in, and that ship comes in the form of the Hercules from Crusader Industries. Now we have the M2 and the C2, which are slated for release alongside the Nova Tonk, very helpful, for Alpha 313, and then the A2 coming later in the year around the end of September. Now the Hercules C2, being the heavy lifting cargo variant, has an expanded cargo capacity of 624 SEU, which is a good amount, while sacrificing a little firepower. The M2, nicknamed Mama Bird, has more armor than the C2, but sacrifices some cargo capacity. Still capable of carrying 468 SEU, which is pretty decent, uh, with the A2, more of a heavy military gunship and bomber, only able to carry 234 SEU, and instead opts for more firepower to rain down from above, as well as the option to drop an array of various ordnance. Now, each ship is unique to itself, offering various options for the owner, and I personally cannot wait to sit in my C2's cockpit. For the A2, however, CIG will be working on the ability to drop bombs and mines, so it's going to be interesting to see just what that ship is capable of. Now, slated for 314, around the end of June, we have the Constellation Taurus. Now, this is finishing off the Constellation lineup. The Taurus is the hauling variant of the Constellation series and has been a long time coming. I do wonder if they will change anything inside to make the Constellation series interior more pleasing and potentially in line with the more recently launched Arasai Mantis, as many people, including myself, would love to see a bit of a, a rework or a, an interior improvement for the Constellation series, but I don't think anything is officially planned yet. Hopefully, we do see some improvements with the Taurus, though. For Alpha 315, so again, September time, we can see the Aegis Redeemer, which is now in grey box as CIG rebuild the ship using the current metrics. This was originally the winner of the next great Starship competition in which the community were tasked with creating a ship for the game. Back then, this was to be a dropship, but with the addition of many more dropships, it is now a gunship, which will likely be a great ship to provide close air support for troops on the ground. And design-wise, although it's not to my taste, it is still a pretty cool looking ship. It was also the first ship to ever have a coffee machine inside, although you couldn't use it back then. So also planned to release in 315 around the end of September are two more Crusader Industries ships. We have the Arid Starfighter Ion and Inferno. Now both of these ships are purpose-built anti-capital ship fighters designed to lead the charge against capital ships and obviously other larger vessels using their custom-built size 7 weapons. Now the Ion opts for an energy weapon and the Inferno has a ballistic cannon. With the capital ships now present in-game as even NPC or AI controlled, I would certainly expect CIG to have some dynamic event planned, similar to what we're seeing with the Xeno threat for players to use these ships against. 
it'll be very interesting to see just what is capable from these little tiny beasts, especially when we finally get physical damage and the resource generation and item control system. So it's worth pointing out that for Alpha 316, the final patch of the year for around December time, there are no ships listed, likely because they will have a much clearer picture of what ships they'll be able to release the closer to the date they get. And right now they probably don't want to advertise any intentions as the date is so far off, but it does leave a huge hole for potential options. So we know of the ships that are listed for their respective dates, but what else could we see that is not on the roadmap? On the progress tracker view under vehicle concept art, there are five unannounced vehicles listed. So I'm assuming these are referring to new concepted vehicles that we have never heard of. Under vehicle content, it mentions a further three unannounced vehicles. Could these ones be already previously sold vehicles going through the pipeline? It is very difficult to determine exactly what all of these specifically mean, but I think it is safe to say that there are still five vehicles that CIG intend to release as a concept sale this year, with the first vehicle's work finishing around early April, maybe in time for a 3.13.1 patch perhaps. Could this be the Origin 400? Maybe, it's hard to say without official word. There is another unannounced vehicle finishing mid-May, a third around early August, and the remaining two unannounced vehicles finishing work in December. So there is a potential for five new concepts this year, but as always, things can change and move around, and this is only speculation at this time. So moving on to ships that are present on the progress tracker that we could see coming in 2021, we have the Hull A, the Hull B, and the Polaris, all of which have work slated all the way up till December. So if we do see any of these ships this year, it won't likely be until the end of the year, but I think it's probably more likely going to be around a 2022 release. But that does leave a few unannounced ships still within the vehicle content and vehicle experience sections. And I don't know for certain whether this means these are ships that have been previously announced and are set to release or something else entirely. But there have been a few ships which appeared on the roadmap throughout 2019, 2020, and they were removed. Ones that I can think of, and I can't remember them all, I'm sure, but these include the Drake Corsair and the Drake Vulture. Now in 2019, both salvaging tier zero and the Drake Vulture were removed from the roadmap with CIG stating it's been removed temporarily while they discuss what the plan is for salvaging. So it's a good indication that CIG would like to release the Vulture at the same time as salvaging for the first tier or tier zero, just like what we saw with the Misk Prospector. Obviously this is not a guarantee they could have changed their mind and made it hand salvaging, but we will see. Now the Drake Corsair has appeared on the roadmap in the past but I cannot remember when so I personally wouldn't expect to see that this year although I would be very happy if it did because I do own one. Now one ship that I strongly think will release this year is the Hull C. With work being done on the Hull A and B this year CIG is making great headway on all of the blockers for the Hull C like docking obviously coming in 313, the expansion of the room system as the ship expands and the need for larger containers. I would be very surprised if the Hull C doesn't release this year, whether they would prefer to wait for a more fully fleshed dynamic economy or another system to warrant using the Hull, I don't know. I personally wouldn't think so, but your guess is as good as mine. So that is the current look at all of the ships on the roadmap viewers scheduled for release this year. Now, of course, any of these ships can shift around. Some can be delayed, others can be brought forwards and even some removed entirely. But as it stands right now, that is how it looks. Do let me know what ships you are most looking forward to and whether there are any that I have not mentioned that you think we will see this year. But with that said, if you do enjoy my content, please consider hitting subscribe. And if you would like to be notified every time my videos go live, be sure to tick that little notification bell. If you could do the channel a big favor and hit that like button, I would appreciate it. And if you want to talk more about Star Citizen, its ships or anything in general, Follow the link to my Twitch channel. It is twitch.tv forward slash Ryan. Again, major thank you to my patrons and channel members. Cannot do this without you guys. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.